Now let us discuss here about subgraphs in discrete mathematics. Uh, we have uh, uh, two types of subgraphs. First one is spanning subgraph. Second one is uh, induced subgraph. So in this video we are going to discuss about what is a subgraph and what is spanning subgraph as well as what is induced subgraph. First let's see what is a subgraph. A graph g dash equal to v dash comma e dash is called a subgraph of the given graph g is equal to v comma e if v dash subset v comma e dash subset e. So here subgraph is represented by g dash and the vertices and the edges of the subgraph are v dash and e dash whereas the given graph is denoted by g the vertices and the edges are v comma e. Uh, so here we have two constraints. The first constraint is v dash subset v. The second one is e dash subset e. So we know what is subset. So here all the vertices of the subgraph are the subsets of the vertices of the given graph. So that means every vertex of the subgraph must belongs to the given graph. Let the graph contains 5 vertices. Then the subgraph may contain 5 vertices or 4 vertices or 3 vertices or 2 vertices or 1 vertices or 1 vertex. Every vertex of the subgraph must belongs to the given graph. Likewise e dash subset e. So that means uh, all the edges of the subgraph must be the subsets of the edges of the given graph. That means every edge of the subgraph must belongs to the given graph. If the graph contains 6 edges, then the subgraph may contain 6 edges or 5 edges or 4 edges or 3 or 2 or 1 edge. Okay. Uh, so let us take a graph, given graph, let me have a graph like this. Then the possible subgraphs are, so here subgraph means uh, it contains few vertices and few edges of the given graph. So A, B, C. So here this is nothing but a subgraph, A, B, C. This is one subgraph, A, Z, 1, subgraph 1. B, D. This is another subgraph, this is another subgraph, A, Z, 2. Next, B, C, D, E. This is another subgraph. Next one, A, B, C, D, E. This is another subgraph. Likewise, we can construct any number of subgraphs. So, we can take this BC as the subgraph or we can take this as the subgraph or we can add this edge. Yeah, likewise, we can construct n number of subgraphs for the given graph. So, we can take this BC as the subgraph or we can take this AB as the subgraph. If a graph is given, then from that graph, we can construct so many possible subgraphs. Okay. These are few subgraphs of the given graph. Uh, next, uh, we have two types of subgraphs. First one is spanning subgraph. Second one is induced subgraph. So first let's see what is a spanning subgraph. So spanning subgraph is nothing but a subgraph only. So that means it contains some vertices and edges of the given graph. But here spanning subgraph means the constraint is it should contain all the vertices of the given graph. So let us, let us take this graph. This graph is containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices. So the spanning subgraph should contain all the 5 vertices. So out of all these subgraphs, which is the spanning subgraph? So this is the spanning subgraph. Why? Because this graph contain 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the 5 vertices, all the 5 vertices. So this is one spanning subgraph. So likewise, we can construct this one. This is also another spanning subgraph. Why? Because this graph is also containing 5 vertices or this is also a spanning subgraph. This is also a spanning subgraph. Okay. Or if we want, we can take some isolated vertex also. There is no problem. A spanning subgraph may contain isolated vertex or null vertex. So this is isolated vertex or null vertex. We know about isolated vertex. That vertex doesn't have any adjacent nodes. 
So this is also a spanning subgraph. So this is one spanning subgraph, another spanning, another sub spanning subgraph, another spanning subgraph. So for this graph, now let's see the third. Let's see the next one that is induced subgraph. So we have two types of subgraphs. First one is spanning subgraph. Second one is induced subgraph. So let's see what is induced subgraph. It is also a subgraph, a subgraph which has all the edges corresponding to those set of vertices. So here we have five vertices. So if we have taken three vertices, then according to the given graph, given graph edges. So here in induced subgraph also it should contain all the edges. So let us construct induced subgraph for A B C vertices as well as B C D E vertices. If you take A B C vertices, from A to B we have an edge. So this is A, this is B. Let this is C vertex. Next to from A to C we have an edge. Next to from B to C we have an edge. So this is nothing but spanning subgraph for the vertices A B C. I'm sorry, this is nothing but induced subgraph. This is nothing but induced subgraph for the vertices A B C. What is induced subgraph? Which has all the edges corresponding to those set of vertices. If we consider A B C, according to the given graph, we have three edges. From A to B, we have we have an edge. From B to C, we have an edge. From A to C, we have an edge. So this is nothing but induced subgraph for A B C. Likewise, let us construct induced subgraph for B C D E. So from B to C D E, we have edges. From C to from C to yeah, let us consider the graph. So this is B. Let this is C D E. So according to the given graph, we should have the edges. So for the what is this B C D E? From B to C we have edge. From B to D we have edge. From B to E we have an edge. From B to E also we have an edge. Next to from C to B C to E. C to B C to E we have edge. C to B it is already written. Next to C to E also we have an edge. Next, if we consider D, D to B, D to E. So D to B is already over. So this is D to E edge. Next E to C over. Next E to B, E to D, E to B, E to D. So this is nothing but induced subgraph for the vertices B, C, D, E. Likewise, if you take induced subgraph for induced subgraph for C, E, then if we consider C, E, then we have only one edge corresponding to C, E vertices. So corresponding to C E vertices only we have to draw. So this is nothing but induced subgraph for C E vertices. So this is about what is subgraph, spanning subgraph, and induced subgraph. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for.